Since Bill Hardy's vision came to life six years ago, the Musing Festival has attracted tattoo artists and musicians from all over the nation. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm hanging out with the world famous K-Rock. I got my crew over there. You can't see them because this is audio, but they're all waving. Uh, music. We come every year, so it's my third year in a row. I'm back. I'm just hanging out. And Aaron, you've been here all six years? All six years. Right all on. six years I've been here. It gets better every year. The people get gnarlier. The tattooing gets crazier. And the music gets better and better. Right on. Did you see uh, Bad Religion last night? Yes, I did. How was the show? It's as good as they were 20 years ago. If not better. Refined. Well, of course, we're looking forward to Pennywise tonight. But it's all going to lead to the Horton Heat tomorrow. Horton Heat. I go by Miss Amanda. Uh, I tattoo out of uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been tattooing since 2005. I started getting tattooed when I was 18 and, you know, just kind of fell in love with everything about it. Like, you know, the, just the ability to create artwork and have it displayed on somebody forever. It's pretty awesome. It was hard getting in through the door, uh, of course. Um, it has been rocky uh, along the way. Some certain things uh, just kind of, like I said, like getting that respect as a, you know, a real tattooer, you know, because you're oh, just a chick. What's up? My name's Tony Willie. I ride for Active. Out here skating a demo. Costa Mesa. Uh, yeah. Shredding. So, do you have any tattoos? Uh, I have two on my ankles. Okay. It's my first tattoos and only tattoos. Okay. There's one on each side. The skate bone, their wheels. Oh, uh, right on. <laughs> I'm always rolling. Their, their wheels right on your ankle. Yeah, That's like awesome. Oh, my name is Mark. Aaron Atkins and I'm with uh, the band Guttermouth. We are with Orange Coast College, which is yep. right across the I know the street. it very well. Awesome. Cool. How do you know it? Um, I took a voiceover class there. Guttermouth is probably the biggest accident that's ever happened. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be anything but a fun project that we did after work and had some fun and held around, drank beers, and that was it. And uh, then people started taking it serious and, you know, we met bands like The Offspring before they got popular and stuff like that and it, they they were very they were pretty much the catalyst to help you know getting us to where we are and um, just it just keeps rolling on. Second floor is a restaurant in Huntington Beach on Main Street. It's a art it's an it's an art gallery restaurant fusion. So all the art on the walls is for sale. You can buy it right off the wall, and it's all tattoo inspired, which is why we end up having such a big presence at a lot of the tattoo conventions. I am Baba. I'm the owner of Vintage Tattoo in Los Angeles, California. It is now 24 years. I've been in this industry of debauchery and piracy. Right on. And how long have you been attending Musink? I've been. I was invited to Musink the first year. Bill Hardy and um, the original promoter, Kat Von D, invited me. Me and Kathy go way back. And, uh, you know, Kat obviously has nothing to do with it anymore. But, I, you know, this is a great show. So I come back every year. 